let's talk about waves. Waves are beautiful to look at. We are fascinated by waves. Some people even like to ride them. But when we watch a wave, what exactly are we looking at? Notice the water is being hit by droplets and something seems to spread out through the water. And whatever is spreading out, we call a wave. So we want to ask the question, what exactly is this that's spreading out? What exactly is a wave? To answer this question, we're going to study a super simplified system, which is just this series of gold masses that are connected by springs. We're going to take the left end and just shake it up and down. And notice when we do that, something seems to be traveling along the spring, but the masses do not move along the spring. They just kind of move up and down when the wave goes by. Shaking it rapidly makes more waves. Shaking it less rapidly makes fewer waves. can make small waves, and we can make big waves too. But just notice that the masses are not moving along the spring. They're just moving up and down. Something else is moving along the spring. What we're watching, which we call a wave, is the energy that the hand is putting into the spring moving along the spring. The masses themselves are not moving along the spring. They're just vibrating in place. The vibrations in the medium that result from energy passing through it are called waves. So now we're ready to say what a wave is. A wave is a transfer of energy through a medium or material that the wave is moving in. Mass, in other words, the parts of the medium, are not transferred, just energy. So in this video that we saw before, the energy of the drop that is hitting the water surface, that energy passes through the water, making the water vibrate. So when you put a vibrating object or a moving object into a medium, that energy from it passes through the medium, and we call that energy that is passing through the medium that makes the medium vibrate. We call those vibrations waves. There are two major types of waves. The first one, longitudinal waves, the particles of the medium vibrate in a direction that is parallel to or along the direction that the waves are traveling. So here you're going to see waves, longitudinal waves, moving from left to right. But the particles of the medium are basically just vibrating side to side. The second type of wave is called a transverse wave. In this kind of wave, the particles of the medium, the gold masses, vibrate in a direction that's perpendicular to the direction that the wave is moving. So if the waves here are going from left to right or right to left, notice that the masses actually go up and down. So the particles of the medium vibrate in a direction that is perpendicular to the way that the waves are going.
Let's look at a transverse wave a little more carefully. In this simulation, you're going to see the wave move from left to right, but we're going to pay attention to just one of the gold masses.